Lisa with Junk Journal Gems. Getting situated in my chair here. We're continuing making our mail-inspired journal, and I wanted to show you how to do this. Can you hear that? This fun, crinkly technique that goes, I think, so super well, not only with the, um, the blueprint, sheets that we're going to be using but also remember i showed you in the last video this um envelope that i made out of a map it goes super well with maps so this would also be something that could be cool in a travel journal or just a grungy journal the technique is transferable to anything that you're doing the colors is what goes what with what we're doing so i'm going to show you how to do this now what is this, you may say? Well, I shall tell you what it is. I find these all the time in thrift stores. Cash, cash register receipt paper is all that this is. Easy peasy, cash register receipt paper. And I'll show you how you get these fun, darker effects on here. Look over here. I will show you that in a second. So you want to just cut yourself a piece of cash register receipt paper. And I'm just gonna set that aside for a minute. I chose four colors. You probably can't see it, but it's vintage photo. Journal maker's best friend. Then I have rusty hinge. Then I have chipped sapphire. That's that blue color that goes so great with the blueprint. And then this is mustard seed. So these are the four colors that I am using. Vintage photo, rusty hinge, mustard seed, chip sapphire. The bulk of what I want to see as the base on this as kind of the theme is the chip sapphire with splashes of the rusty hinge and the mustard seed. Probably I'm gonna shoot for more of the rusty hinge in this one than I did in this one we'll be making together than I did on this particular one with just a little hint of the mustard seed. So it's gonna be more blue orangey color with these mixed in there. I think what I also did do on here is I used walnut ink. All right, so let's get started now that you've got everything that you need. I'll set that aside. All that you're going to do, this is so simple. Make sure that you have some paper towel and some um, wipes handy because you're going to want to kind of clean up your mess as well. You want some water handy also. Now, I'm just gonna take my rusty hinge and smush a little on my mat here. This is the Tim Holtz glass mat. You can also use the um, one of the Teflon craft mats. I think they're Teflon. I have one somewhere. All right, get that good and wet there. And then I'm just gonna start dabbing this on here. And I want more than that, I'll tell you that right now. Much better. It's looking pretty good. I'm wondering if I want a little more blue. I think I do. I'm just gonna come off to the side of this because I don't wanna dilute this with the water that I already have down. And doing something like this is so fun. As you can just get messy. There's 
There's no big deal about it. There we go. This color would also go so well if you were making kind of a denim themed journal. There we go. Clean up that mess. I'm done with the blue. Now, just want to dry it off. Oh, I didn't replenish my paper towel supply in here. I need to do that. Okay, now, what I want to do next, and I want to be careful because I don't want to put the heat on my glass mat, but I want to dry this in between layers. Because this is cash register paper, I'll show you what you can do to your benefit in a little bit here, but when you're using your heat tool, hold it far away from the paper or it will darken. But in a minute, we'll use that to our advantage. I'm just holding it away from, like I said, my mat because I don't want it to crack. Oh my gosh, I'd be so sad after I just got it. Oh, see what I just did? I went too close. I was daydreaming. I didn't want to do that yet, but that's okay. Because I'd be doing it later anyway. Okay, we've got that done. Now I'm going to bring out my second, that is my main color. So I put that as a base background. Next I'm coming in with the Rusty Hinge, which I love this color. I use it in so many things. Come in and dab around with that. And see what you get with that. Oh, it's just scrumptious. Scrumptious. go. That's good. Clean up that color. Dry that off. All right. I think what I will do next is to come in with the mustard seed. Now this, I want to be more specific with how I'm putting this color on. So I'm trying to bend the paper to just get certain spots like that. Not like being particular or anything. but I don't want this to be the main color. And the brighter the color, the greater the chance you have of it kind of taking over your piece. If you don't like the idea of um, 
getting your hands dirty or staining your fingers, you can wear um, some plastic gloves for this. I'm just gonna do one other spot. And I think that's good for that. Okay. Now, all of them that I've been using except for this, the Chip Sapphire are Distress Inks. This is an Oxide. So I think, do I wanna dry this first or? What I'm gonna do, do I wanna spray this? I'm just going to kind of lightly spray because I just want, and then I want just Try that and dry it and see what it looks like here. Oh, I've got my hands a mess. Hold on here. I know somewhere in the house we have some little gloves, but I'm not going to look for them right now. Okay. And again, I'm just holding this far away for right now. But in a second, I'll show you what I want to do. Okay, now I'm going to start to come in and show you what I'm going to do, if I can. Hold on, I can't. Now, I'm 8 to 12 inches here, and I come in, and I'm going to darken that. See how it, the heat makes it turn a color? Now, please be careful. Do not keep it on there long because after you get that point, I don't know what will happen. Let's see, this is what it is looking like. So I'm gonna just dry this a little bit more. Now the other thing that I wanna try, as I was looking at this, I wanna see what will happen at this point if I spray it with some water. Oh, I just sprayed myself. Because again, remember this blue is oxide and see how it's activating it again. Ooh, let's see what it does there. That's kind of cool. All right, I'm just gonna kind of leave that because I don't want it to run too much. I'm just gonna kind of leave it and let it dry. Okay, I went ahead and got my mat out, my, um, um, yeah, this. But if you don't have a glass mat, these you can get really inexpensively right off of Amazon. That's how I got this one. 
what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get one of my craft makeup brushes and I'm going to come in here and hit some additional spots that I want to bring in the color a little more starkly. And as you can see, I also burned some of the edges here. Good blue. And I'm just going to hit it with a little more rusty hinge. Because I just can't seem to get enough of this color. I just love it. But I mean, can you imagine a meal inspired journal? You got to have some rust from the shop in there and some blue from the denim. Absolutely. I like this very much. And then we'll be able to use this as backgrounds, as accent pieces in what we are working on. Maybe just a hint of the mustard seed yet. And just specific little spots. Just to give it a little pop. There's a little pop. Really liking how this is turning out. There, just a little, little more over here. And there we go. We've got two very different looks based on how you're playing with the color at the time. That's fun. That is fun. So give this a try and I'll be using this as we continue on making the Mail Inspired Journal. Thanks so much for joining me again. This was a quick one. Hit thumbs up if you like what you see. Hit subscribe so you're notified. And please have a great day.